quick drop a like in the next five seconds and you will be gifted with the deadpool skin by tomorrow morning and lastly, before we start off this crazy video, I want to let you guys do know that we're gifting subscribers the Galaxy skin, the Iconic, or any emo in the game. Now, if you guys do want me to personally gift you this, yes me, I will be gifting you this if you simply subscribe, like this video, and then lastly, comment down below your Epic Gamer Tag so I can gift you it. But hey, with that said, watch until the end so you don't miss any of the crazy things that happen throughout today's video. Yo, what's going on, guys? In today's video, man, I got you guys with a crazy crazy story of what happened man all right so basically before we get into this whole story of what happened and what i did basically throughout this story because i'm gonna let you know it gets really really crazy so make sure to watch until the end but anyways with that being said basically what happened in today's video was i went over how this rich kid tried to date my girlfriend now this was about i'd say like seven no nah, not it was like uh i think about 11 months ago and this guy was just on and off trying to take my girlfriend basically flexing his money thinking he was so cool and there was a level to where i couldn't take it anymore and throughout the video i'm gonna explain what i did and how i reacted and basically what he gave me because the kid gave me so much of something which i won't spoil right away in the video but with that being said i hope you guys do enjoy this crazy video man the last thing i'm gonna say before we do start it up is that we're gonna be giving away some money once once again, if you guys do want money to get a free $20 gift card, a free Amazon gift card, whatever it can be, if you guys want to enter, all you guys got to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel with post notifications on, and then comment down below why you want to win this giveaway because I know some of you guys might need it. But with that being said, let's get right into the story of a rich kid trying to take my girlfriend. And then I confront him. Let's get it. Okay, so basically how I found out was at first this guy was a supporter. Now, I know that would shock you guys. Imagine your own supporter trying to get with your girlfriend. Like how can you show love to somebody and try to steal your like that guy that you're supporting his girlfriend? Like that was so messed up. But uh, basically how I found out was when I played Fortnite with him, because if you guys don't already, on my channel we have memberships, like on the screen you guys can see right there, we have memberships. And with being a member, you can play Fortnite with me, you can uh, you can get shoutouts from me, you can get so much stuff. And the kid was literally non-stop trying to talk to my girlfriend. I was like, uh, why? Wh what is the point of this? And then he told me to my own face, Bro, I like your girlfriend. Like, how can you say to somebody's, like, a girlfriend's boyfriend that? Like, like, why? Why would you do that? And then I asked him that to, to his face. And he said, I don't care. I'll buy her whatever she wants. She'll go with me. Basically trying to imply that she's a, a gold digger. Like, she never even was a gold digger. And the fact that he tried to claim she was a gold digger and try to date my girlfriend. for that was, it was so messed up. And I told him right there, dude, why do you think money would get you my girlfriend? And he says, well, that's what probably makes everybody happy. Like, like how do you think that makes somebody happy? So I got really mad like really mad but you guys already know i'm a really nice guy so i never really do anything negative to people but when he said this i told him right there bro and i know this might sound cringy but i told him 1v1 me in fortnite and i will just as a joke because i was streaming and he took this serious all right he took this really really serious and then from there he basically 1v1 me i clapped him and then after that, he basically started flexing to my girlfriend, posting on his story, and he made the deal he would stop, but he still did it, and non-stop, and she finally caught his attention, she gave him a DM, but the only reason why she DM'd him was just to get me mad as a joke, which honestly I think was not okay, but from there he kept trying to flex to her saying, hey, I go with me, leave physics, leave physics, all these things, and it would get me really, really mad, because I actually thought that. And he was trying to get with her this whole time. And she would give him the time of the day. So I was really, really mad. If you know what I'm saying. Like, like comment down below in the comment section. Would you guys be really mad if your, girl, if your girlfriend was talking to some really rich guy and you didn't have any money? Because like, keep in mind, at the time, I was really broke. I was getting bullied at school. I was going through a really rough time. And if you guys didn't know also, the reason why I post, like, videos helping kids out with their stuff is because i've been through that stuff myself and i love helping out people if you know what i mean man but anyways like he just kept trying to show that he's better and i couldn't stand it man because i i, I enjoyed streaming 
I loved like my time with her. It was a good relationship. And he was just making it turn into a toxic relationship because it was turning into full drama. It was turning into issues. And I couldn't stand this dude, man. Like, he was so rude to me. So basically, a, a couple weeks later, I see that he's in my city. Now, if you guys don't already, I live in California. And this dude tried to pull up to my city. Like, it wasn't even for nothing. It was just to see me. And he comes to my mall fan meetup because I had a, a meetup with my fans. And he tried to flex right there saying, yo, physics, I'm taking your girl. And then she was there too. And oh, this is what really gets me mad, all right? All right, so basically when she came at the mall, she was about 20 minutes late because she knew I was having that fan meetup just to show love to my supporters because you, you, the, you guys are the ones that changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course I got to show love back to my supporters. I got to be giving away some stuff. Like over there, I gave $500 away. It was a really good time. But basically, she when she was there, he flexed out. He just threw money. Like, disrespecting people, just threw money. Like, saying, oh, everyone broke here. Take this money. Trying to call everyone broke. And just shaming everybody. Like, that's so messed up. Like, like, I, like to everyone, like, that's rich, like, like, most people I know, like, even they would say never to, like, call people that. Like, there's some people that brag about it. But you never want to let somebody down. Like, that's so messed up. Like, to bring somebody else down because you're doing good in life. Like, I could never do that, man. And she started joke like at first I didn't know this was a joke. Keep in mind, they both told me this later. But basically, she was um she was basically laughing with him, basically giving those flirty looks, you know what I'm saying? Like where you were like curl hair. If you know what I mean, when a girl's like flirty back to you, that's what she did. And I couldn't take it anymore. Right there on the spot, I told her, I can't take this. You're you're taking this relationship as a joke. About a five month uh, yeah, I think it was a five month relationship, and I just ended it right there. And then she didn't even care at all, too, man. She, like, literally was just like, okay. And she started talking to him for about, I think, two weeks. I could see on her story post because I never blocked her. I saw that she kept going on dates with him, just, like, having a fun time. And he just kept giving her money and money and money. I was like, no way. No way I spend that much time for somebody to be a gold digger. Like, there's no way. And then later on, I, I, I DM him saying, bro, you're, that's so messed up of you. And then he says, I don't care. I'm a member of your channel. Like, because he's a member of my channel, he thinks I'm going to be okay with that. Like, I'm always going to love my supporters. But if you're going to take me as a joke, like, that's so messed up, man. Like, like I know, like, yo, to all my real supporters out there. Because I know if you're watching this and you're showing love and still watching, you're a real supporter. Like, let me know in the comment section. You never do that to me, right? Like, like this video if you never do that to me. I know you would never, bro. Like, he thinks it's, like, okay like that. To mess with my feelings. Because you know what matters in this world, like I said? was family supporters and so much more but meant like mental health is so important too and feelings messes with that a lot man so i was just really sad i didn't even stream for a whole two weeks and then later on she realized it was messing with my head because like like she could do this to me and she told me that she was really sorry and i was like dude it's not okay and then later on they both like basically say that they realized it was messed up but then later this is what annoys me now, this part of the story, I think, is honestly the most shocking part of the story and just the craziest part. And we're going to explain that right now, okay? So, basically, what happens here was he basically, because I, I said, yo, guys, can we just please go out somewhere to talk? Because I wanted to talk to them in person about why this is messed up and even if it's a joke. Because I couldn't tell, like, later because the first week I was so mad, but I kept it quiet. And then a week later, I'm like, maybe they're joking or something. So I was like, let's go get coffee, guys. Let's talk about it. And then basically, when I'm there waiting for them, because I'm in, I'm in Starbucks. They're, they're about to pull up. They said they're coming. I see them in a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. If you don't know what a Lamborghini is, it's literally one of the most expensive cars you can buy. Okay? And basically, when I see that, I was like, wait, what? Since when did he have a Lamborghini? And then when I found out right there, man... This is what gets crazy, okay? So basically, what I do is, right when I see them, I just run up to them at the parking lot. I leave the reservation. Like, I'm sorry. I'm like, all right, because the guy's name was literally Jimmy. Like, I, I, I said right away, Jimmy, I got to go. And then he was like, okay. And I left my Starbucks there. I ran out, and I said, please, please tell me that this is not her car. And then he tells me that he gave her that car. And this is why I was I was just furious because I was like, how could you do this to me? You said you were a supporter and you do this to me, man. That's not okay. And then he just starts laughing and he told me that he didn't care at all and that he bought the membership just to mess around with me. 
literally he did this literally just to take a joke to me and mess up like just like my whole grind and everything and keep in mind i think i had like i said before like 20k sub subscribers which is still a lot and really crazy but now i'm at a million which is a lot more but back then i just did streaming and he basically just tried to ruin everything because he said i had a potential and he wanted to ruin it because he didn't want him he didn't want me to be successful and that's what really got me mad too and then from there i said you know what best of luck i don't even care and then i just left them and i went back to my grinding it took me two weeks and it was just i, I just learned from that though you know what i mean because you want to learn from your mistakes and stuff and that was a big mistake to give people time to take me as a joke like that's my advice i'll give you guys is to never let anyone treat you as a joke you know what i'm saying like like do you man never let anybody do that to you but after that, I just started grinding YouTube again. I, I showed love to my supporters. I had a good time. Everyone that was a membership, I started playing with them too on streams. It was a fun time. And also, keep in mind, if you guys even do want to be a member, you can literally still be a member. And it's in the description. I think it's in the top three links. You just click the become a, me become a member link. And then from there, it'll set you up to join as a member. There's many crazy rewards you can get. So if you guys want to become one, make sure to become a member. But anyways, with that said, it was honestly just crazy. And I just kept grinding. But with that said, I love you guys. And I hope you guys did enjoy this crazy story. Make sure to like this video. Because if you get 20k likes, I will be doing a gold digger test on this girl I have a crush on. With that said, I love you guys. I'm out the jammies, man. Peace.